a key quote that you sort of repeat throughout your 2024 trends um, is that, you know, when all else fails, they'll make war. And I think that's that's right. you, uh, you, you mentioned quite a lot. So do you think that's what this is? Is this sort of just the, uh, is this actors that are sort of trying to prov provoke this? Because from my perspective, it seems like a lot of politicians that it's almost like trying to poke the bear and seeing if they'll react. Look at the clown you got over there in the UK, Sunak. A little arrogant, arrogant, arrogant little boy. Hey, but I'm a member of the billionaire club. Now you know how my wife is and all the dough I got? I'm a little boy of nothing, but look how I get dressed up, you know, in my, look like I'm a tough guy and I go to Ukraine and tell them we're going to give them more armaments. Hey, a hey, little boy, you support the Ukraine war? Put on your military drag and go fight over there or shut your mouth. How about the little clown you had before that, Boris Johnson? The best cartoonist in the world couldn't come out with a better little freaky boy than that. And what did he do? He was sent over there by the United States to, to kill the peace deal between Russia and Ukraine. Look at the little Gatson Macron you got over there. His little fake hair and his little penis. Look what a little shithead you got in the United States out of his mind, Biden. One little freak after another. So when all else fails, they take you to war. How about Netanyahu? Go back to your Trends Journal. Read all about it. People forget when Netanyahu came in in December of 2022, the mainstream media called it an extreme right-wing government. Read all the facts that were going on before Hamas attacked on October 6th of last year. Oh, you forgot about the 39 weeks of major protests going on in Israel? 39 weeks, hundreds of thousands of people taking to the streets week after week in protest of Netanyahu's Judicial Reform Act, which basically said, yeah, I'm being brought up on corruption charges. But this Judicial Reform Act, hey, man, I'm clean. They won't be able to allow to touch me. When all else fails, they take you to a, oh, you forgot with that right extreme right-wing government, what they were doing to the Palestinians in the West Bank, slaughtering them, closing down mosques, oh, stealing more land in the name of settlements. What do you mean settlements? You're stealing the damn land. Hey, listen to the other arrogant little boy, the president of... Israel, Isaac Herzog, God gave us this land, which I say to him, screw you. Who the hell are you talking to? Hey, little boy, what if I don't believe in your God? If you don't believe in my God, we'll blow your brains out. How about that, Salenti? We're doing it to the Palestinians. We'll do it to you. Look at this murder going on. Look at the wipeout of all these innocent people under the bullshit. We're doing this to get Hamas. No, you're not. You're doing it to keep stealing more land in violation of the Geneva Convention, Article 4, and Article 242 of the United Nations. Hey, but we can do anything we want because we control the media and much of the world. Oh, Oxfam just came out with a report. You ready for this? 1%, 1% of the billionaire club own 43% of all the financial assets of the world. That's right. 1%. Or when, how about off with their heads 2.0? Because that's going to be coming next. 